Good morning, my family in Christ. Thank God for another day, another opportunity where we can live for him and show forth his power. It is him who called us out of darkness into this marvelous light, and we must tell others so they too may know the light of the world. This morning, as we devote ourselves to God, we encourage intercessors. We encourage our brothers and sisters in Christ to intercede on behalf of others, on behalf of nations and situations. Watch God work like only he can. Intercessors have an awesome responsibility and are empowered by Holy Spirit to make a difference and by extension experience the benefits because of their prayers. There is a difference between talking to others about something and talking to God about the same thing. God's power is always greater than all other powers. And intercessors believes in the power of praying to God and waiting for the results. So intercessors, let's take a look at Jeremiah 29 and seven. And I know we've read this before, but today let's read it again. Let's believe God and let's pray accordingly. Jeremiah 29 and seven. And seek the peace of the city, whether I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof, ye shall have peace. The Amplified Version says, Seek peace and well-being for the city where I have sent you in exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its peace, well-being, you will have peace. The word of God to the people of God. So where have the Lord placed you? Where are you? Your family, your place of learning. Some of us are married. We're in ministry. We are employed and some of us are business owners. Some of us are being placed in the world of sports. Wherever else the Lord has placed you, you're called to pray for its welfare, for its peace. And in doing so, God will cause peace and well-being on you. So pray that God grants peace, prosperity, and wellness today, wherever you are placed. And watch God respond and do what only He can do today intercessors let's pray let's get someone else with you let's agree believe god to make the difference father we bless you and praise you for your peace we magnify you and honor you for your greatness and today as we stand in need we use jeremiah and we pray we pray for the welfare of the city, for the welfare of the place that you've caused us to be. And we thank you that in doing so, you will cause us to be at peace and well-being. We pray that believers will take serious this post, this calling, this work. For Jesus is on the right hand of the Father, interceding on our behalf forever living to make intercession for us. And so we take serious this opportunity to be like our Lord, our Christ, and to intercede. And so I thank you for the well-being of my family, business, place of work, the well-being of my neighborhood. I pray for the peace, hallelujah, that only you can give. And I commend it to you. I give you thanks. We continue praying for those who lead the nations. 
including our prime minister and all of parliament, those who lead in the medical profession, law enforcement, education, our teachers, our students. We pray for all civil society we can meant to you today, particularly the body of Christ. The peace of Jerusalem, we pray. And we commend families everywhere to you today. That your will be done, even now. We thank you for intercessors. We pray strengthen us, even now. Cause us to endure, to overcome the press, and to obey you even after you have spoken. Not going back, but forward in the things of God. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, intercessors. And those who are starting today, God bless you. As we pray, see God, watch Him work. Have a great day in the Lord.